RBD is REM sleep behavior disorder. And this is one of my research niches and, and one of my passions. And a lot of it is fueled by the patients. And so currently we know that RBD exists. We know that they all RBD patients, especially those with idiopathic RBD, are at high risk for phenoconverting to certain neurodegenerative states, including um, Lewy body dementia and Parkinson's disease. And our goal in the RBD research realm in various clinical trials like the NAPS or the PPMI is to not only um, capture these patients in registries, but also to better understand uh, the pathophysiology and understand why there is such a high risk for phenoconversion to these neurodegenerative states. And so um, part of that is uh, grading the RBD. Um, hopefully coming up with an RBD symptom severity score, which was originally founded by the International RBD Study Group, and categorizing these patients uh, based on their symptom frequency, based on how injurious their behavior is, and then being able to converge that with biomarker data. So it's overnight sleep study data, looking at movement and REM sleep, um, DAT scans, um, certain tests, very specialty uh, kind of tests like uh, like nurse, neuropsychological testing in order to better counsel patients and to prognosticate for them. And maybe even in the future, be able to enroll patients into neuroprotective trials that will prevent the um, acceleration of the disease to Parkinson's. 